Hi, Joe from Smarter Digital here, and I've got a tip for the Nikon users out there for a setting known as the ISO sensitivity settings. Sometimes our shooting environments don't give us the time to uh, be constantly changing settings in our cameras to achieve um, not missing out on the shot. So a situation could be, for example, you're shooting in aperture priority. You're, you want to use a constant f-stop, so that's f5.6 in this particular case. With our ISO and with our shutter, we might be a little bit more flexible. So let's say that with our shutter speed, we're happy for it to go up to as high as it gets to, but I don't want it to get below 1 100th of a second, for example. And our ISO, even though we're starting at 200, for example, I won't mind that the ISO go up to 800, all to maintain that 1 100th of a second. So we go into our ISO sensitivity setting in our shooting menu number two there. We see that our ISO sensitivity, our base is 200, but we can adjust that to whatever we wish. We now switch the auto control from off to on. We see now that we can choose our minimum shutter speed. And in this particular case, we're going to choose 1 100th. But our maximum sensitivity, I'm happy for it to go all the way up to 800 in this particular case. So in our two examples here, we see that we are in aperture priority, we're at ISO 200 and at f5.6. And for this lit exposure, the shutter speed it chose was 1 over 125. Now in the second example, as there is less light, the camera has upped the ISO to 400 to make sure that the shutter speed has not dropped below 1 100th of a second. So a pretty handy feature where you want your constant f-stop, but you can be a little bit more flexible with your ISO and your shutter speeds. Anyway, if you've got any questions that you want to know about a function in your camera, drop us a note. Catch you later. Joe from Smarter Digital. Bye for now.